So recently, James Charles has got himself into a spot of bother. Apparently, something about charging your fans $500 to meet you is problematic. I can't really see why. On a subjective level, I wouldn't pay that much to see James Charles. In all honesty, he'd have to pay me. But I've been thinking for once. Yes, that's very funny. Ha 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 ha. What could possibly go through someone's mind to charge someone that much money just to meet them? For $500, you could get yourself a fresh pair of Gucci flip-flops. I'm not sure why anyone would pay $500 just to look like an unbearable twat. But then, like a non-binary James Marriott fan over over the age of 18 rubbing themselves to the sound of my soothing voice. It came to me. James Charles is actually poor. That's not the premise of your video, is it? Yeah, why? It's a good title. I mean, you're just clickbaiting people again. But it's true, Fraser. No, it's And not. I'm gonna show you why. Please stop this, James. <laughs> Today we're gonna be going through one of James Charles's recent videos to find proof of my theory. Coachella Makeup and Lookbook 2019. I am currently outside. Shocker, I left my house for once. He hasn't left his house. Because he has no money. Ignore the fact that he owns a house. That's irrelevant. Having money in property doesn't actually count as having money. What are you, investing in real estate? That's so last decade. Nature, trees, birds, planes. One of those things is not like the other. I really love nature. Birds, trees, f space shuttles. We out here really suckling in all those juicy carbon emissions. Also, I've just seen another clue. You may have seen his hoodie. He's wearing his own merch. Because he has no money. The only exception to that rule is I'm Alex. Because he only wears internet sensation clothing. And he is rich. He once walked into a room and Richard Branson started salivating. Speaking of salivating, let's take a look at James Charles's lookbook. Oh no, it's James Charles's worst enemy. Small. I can hardly talk. The peak of my physical career was we fit. But don't worry, ladies, I can just about handle three minutes of the missionary position. Three minutes of sweet, sweaty heaven. How long do you reckon it took to get that shot of James with the basketball? He even has to look down to make sure he's bouncing it correctly for a one second shot. It's not that difficult. Come on now. I could probably bounce a basketball with my face. If this video gets 40,000 likes, I'll do it in my next one. Look at my nose, man. I've clearly been practicing. That's so wild. This is a look. Less high viz, more high jizz. I'm not sure what you'd call those. Trousers? Pants? A nappy, maybe? It's a pretty smart move if you're going to a festival. Just bring the toilet with you. And by that, I mean bring me. Stuck inside my mind because... I think every hype beast has just had a heart attack. No, James. Don't actually use the expensive shoes. Just collect them. People who collect shoes now are those same dickheads that cried when you didn't give them your piece of Exodia. Things you wanna do. I'm not sure if this is just the angle or if James Charles has feet bigger than my future. Hey James, <laughs> this is how you be looking when you put your shoes on in the morning. Clown feet, <laughs> you fucking clown. Oh, the sparkles, they're blinding me. I feel like I've got glass in my eye. Actually, that's a shout. Someone please smash a bottle over my face. Fucking hell, Fraser, it was a joke. <laughs> Jesus Christ, there's two of them. Their joint shadow looks a bit like a tent. That reminds me of the Campcast. Please go and watch the Campcast. It's my podcast and it's, um, a podcast. It's got I'm Alex on it. Watch it for him. He's better than me. God, what a fucking snack. I'll probably forget to leave a link in the description. So just type it in, you lazy dickhead. Why is he doing this movement? It looks like he's trying to squeeze out an extra thick turd. You can't see his face in this shot, but it probably looks a little like this. <laughs> think Coachella just feels really fake. James has probably stood there all day, one mask away from being a human pup. He's turned to his cameraman and gone, right, let's make everyone think we had a blast. Right, everyone around me, if you could just jump around and pretend you give a squirt of piss about the 1975, that'd be great. Youth culture isn't about actually enjoying things, it's about telling your followers that you're enjoying them. It's messed up and I will not partake in it. Please follow my Instagram at JamesBarrettYT, this was all a joke, I'm also a superficial bellend. bouncing that ball anymore, are we, James? This looks like a B-Tech Captain Marvel cosplay. I say Captain Marvel. It's more Lieutenant Shite. <laughs> Jesus Christ, he's got a fast track to the NB fucking A. I've never seen a man hit a shot so dope in my lifetime. One thing's for sure, though, you wouldn't see him playing for the Milwaukee Bucks. Because he's poor, remember? <laughs> I'm not lying for clickbait. <laughs> 
Oh, come on, man. I ain't gay. I ain't looking. He low-key dummy thick, though. Clearly he is poor because he couldn't afford trousers. Now I can understand why people would want to wear revealing clothing, but I'll never do it for the sake of everyone else. I've got the arse of an overweight, deceased Wookiee. What I can't understand is why you'd wear clothes everywhere except your arse and midriff. Like, what does that achieve except make you look like the human incarnation of a fried egg? I guess I can understand the arse a bit more. Just for easy access? No, not for shagging, for going to the loo. Although, don't lie, we've all seen that clip of James Charles and the Ferris wheel. You cannot unsee that. Did you have to get the camera that close? Jesus Christ. I can smell it through the fucking screen. Imagine the anxiety of being his cameraman. Fight or flight has probably kicked in by this point. It wouldn't be the worst way to die, to be fair. Suffering a potent fart from a thick member of the- I can't say this organization, I'll get demonetized, lol. The cool cosplay community, that is. Don't sue me, please. <laughs> That's one way to show off an outfit. It's not as if my eyes are looking elsewhere. Even straight guys wouldn't be as excited as James Charles clearly is in this situation. I'm playing the bongo drums. <laughs> boing, boing, boing. My love, my love, I love this look is fire. I like to call this one old time chode. He's clearly got the horses in the back if you know what I'm saying. I'm gonna say it. This is cultural appropriation. Tassels should only ever be adorned by sheriffs. James Charles is taking a proverbial dump on the Wild West. At least it would be easy with holes like this. I can't understand how someone can simultaneously be wearing two layers, yet probably have goosebumps on their ass the size of f***ing Jupiter. <laughs> It's the Ferris wheel. There's even a cowboy hat in the original clip. I'm going to die. Oh, what the f dude? Cowboy James has had a bit of a steamy run in with some Native American cum. <laughs> Can't stop wondering if one of these people was the guy he was giving the old Hoover maneuver. This guy is looking very suspect. Oh my god. I'm not gonna show you this clip because I'm pretty sure I just saw his scrotum. We always go above and beyond in these videos, don't we? <laughs> but back to the main topic of this video. I've seen a lot of people getting angry with James Charles over his ticket prices. And to that I'm gonna give you some advice and it may sound a little crazy, okay? Maybe just don't buy the ticket. You know, just don't buy it. A lot of artists charge far more than what James was originally charging. Taylor Swift doesn't even do meet and greets. Whilst I personally disagree with the amount he was originally charging people just to meet him. He's not the devil. He just likes a bit of cha-chang. Not the Harry Potter character, I mean money. If he were to do a free meet and greet, it would take years. This way he gets to improve profit margins of the tour and he gets to meet the people that would actually pay to see him. Real fans. And also, since the backlash, the rewards have improved. Why are people still complaining? Obviously, the money aspect makes it somewhat exclusive, but there are clips of him meeting fans at Coachella. He's comfortable with randomly meeting people. Us YouTubers don't leave the house very often, but if you see us, please say hi. But anyway, because all of you think that James Charles has arisen from the depths of hell itself, I'm going to be vocalizing the sort of thoughts you could expect him to have have when you meet him. Using all of the subscribers that have come to visit me over the last year. In this one, some random subscriber called Alex Mid Blowjob. Get back down there, you beautiful, beautiful man. Just before this girl met me, one of her friends came over to me and said that she finds me really attractive. That's why I'm smiling. No one ever finds me attractive. Help! Here I am meeting some suspended Twitter user. Apparently she vomited after this photo was taken. The feeling's mutual, Molly. Ah, oh, damn it. I feel like I'm not being savage enough. Those glasses are shit. I can see why you wear them, though. Leafy is here called. He wants his weed encrusted eyes back. Charlie, stop. You're 14. <laughs> Off he goes. Yeah. <laughs> That's not Alex running away from a 14 year old. He's just hiding his erection. He's 14 too. Yeah. He fine. looks it. It's all legal. Good save, James. <laughs> Is that a toy life hat? <laughs> you f Virgin. Sophia also got another photo of us. She was wearing the same outfit as Will that day. That's not a good thing, sis. <laughs> Aren't we having fun? <laughs> yeah, yeah, we are. <laughs> I'm laughing because you paid to go to VidCon, you moron. I'm not sure why this subscriber covered their face in this photo. Mate, I promise you look out of this world. I'll let myself out, sorry. Okay, so this one isn't actually a joke. This girl is called Lyrielle. She's butters and she actually stalks us. I'm not joking or anything. I swear she's not my friend. She's at Fomia on Twitter. Please do me a solid and block her. Thanks, everyone. This this subscriber tagged me in a video saying that I chew loudly. What you don't realize, Sid, is that I was chewing that gum because you f***ing stink. I promise all of these are jokes. I feel so bad. Well, then this one is real, isn't it? The way I can tell that it's a fake image is that she's not laughing. You all underestimate just how funny I actually am. This is how it feels to do meet and greets with Alex. Oh, you want to meet him? Oh, of course you do. Who doesn't? One second, though, sorry. You do know who I am, right? I don't even know who I am anymore. Here's an image I took with one of my heroes, actually. I can't believe I met Sideshow Bob. What an honor. This would actually be a nice photo if it wasn't ruined by some random Australian git. He kept coming up to me and saying that he made videos as well. Of course 
you do, mate. Last 200 subscribers you got there. Check them on the Barbie. And finally this. After a long day of meet and greets, this is how I felt. Please end my suffering. But I hope you have enjoyed today's video. As per, please don't send any hate to anyone I've spoken about, you absolute spend. And also, it was so lovely to meet some of you at Insomnia 64. It's genuinely my favourite thing to do. So if I'm at an event near you, please do come and say hi. But if you have enjoyed this video, then please leave a like down below, subscribe if you're new or have not done so already, and I will catch you next time. Thank you.